Hey guys, it's Nikki here from Stealth Shampoo, Our leader of the Battleborn. Hey, you're DB. Hey, you're DB. What's up, Stealth Shampoo? They can't up, see you world? staring at me. Well, yeah, that's but why you I'm, are. That's why I'm waiting for you to introduce me. Well, you are. You are the self-proclaimed leader of the Battleborn. Oh yeah. Uh, also, number one Battleborn player in the world. You know, this is still a cooperative experience here. True, true. This top. It is. Uh, this is multiplayer on the map meltdown. Speaking of the Battleborn leader, we're here with Galt, and he is the banner raiser, the shot caller, if you will, uh, who got the Battleborn into action to try and save the last star and save the, the general populace from complete extinction. And he's here today with some uh, pretty sweet abilities. Yeah, a little bit on his abilities. That's a teammate that I'm shooting at. I have a hook right here that you guys just saw me use earlier. That one's going to miss right there, unfortunately. That pulls enemies in, and I can do damage to them at close quarters. But uh, I'm going to need to back up right now and find Scott, because he needs to start dropping me some heals. Melka putting in some work there. Speaking of your abilities, uh, you do have a tactical shells ability. The last four shots in Galt's revolver shotgun uh, will deal additional damage. Luckily, right there. Scott and Montana over there managed to deter that enemy away. We're gonna pull her back in. See if I can actually land a chain grab right there, and it was successful. We're gonna go with the tactical shotgun that actually does more damage on the last four rounds. Alright, eight rounds, it's fully automatic. It's it's more of like a revolver shotgun. It is indeed. It is a short range gun though, it's gonna deal less damage from greater distances. So right there on the right side of my helix DB, I picked up two skills. Let's talk about those for a second while I try to grab Caldarius here. Yes, indeed. Both on the right-hand side of the Helix. You're starting with Stealth Scrap, which oh, yeah. I fits for you, Stealth Shampoo. I couldn't pass it up. Cloaks deployed Scrap yeah, Traps, making them virtually invisible at range. So you have these Scrap Traps, you're putting them down, and this is going to cloak them. Yeah, with all the action going on, lots of people jumping around trying to avoid these things. They may miss it because they are cloaked. And we have Ombra right here. My favorite character in the game. I'm actually gonna mash her with the shotgun. And that level two ability, it's called the Scrappening. It's gonna launch an additional three shrapnel bombs when triggered. So you're doing some pretty massive damage and you're doing it from a cloaked scrap trap. Yep, and those things are oh. going to be- Whoa, well, Oscar Mike walked right on that one. Wasn't even aiming for him. Let's back out for a second here. By this turn and be on our way. So your skills, you got the hook, you also have the scrap trap, this is going to deploy a trap to a target location, it's going to stun enemies and then explode. And then your ultimate is going to allow you to dual wield once we get there. But yeah. we're not there yet, you got a lot of work to do here. This is the mode Meltdown, the map is Paradise, and the idea of this game mode is that you want to try and march your minions into the incinerator uh, on the other side of the map, uh, as you are in the Wii periods of the match here, uh, you have a short distance to march those minions. It will extend later once you get halfway into the, the battle here. But in the meantime, uh, your team doing pretty great work here against yeah. the enemy. We're pretty far ahead now. Right back there, DB. Yeah. Pro level play, even though this is the first time I ever played this character. I managed to drop a spike trap down and then pull an enemy into it with the hook. Nice a lot though. of the abilities here in Battleborn actually complement each other really well. And you can use them for maximum damage, healing, whatever your character is supposed to do. This, of course, is a damage-based character. I'm trying to keep these mines down on pads minions would take. So if enemy Battleborn don't step on them, minions will, and they get slowed down. Right, and so that's that path you're looking at right now down below you there. The minions are going to follw that, so you can anticipate their movements, throw down the traps, and deal damage. Level 3 Helix. Yeah, so I did pick up level 3, almost to level 4 here, halfway there. And, uh, I'm gonna need to start avoiding here. I got a lot of enemies on me. There's there the hook. Go, whip the stun. And Scott, not pulling his way, he goes down. I'm gonna back up from Scott. There was an enemy sunspot right there, so I actually wanna back out of that. Let's grab some heals real quick. If anyone wants to chase me, here's a trap. That thing's gonna be cloaked in just a moment. And they and can walk right over that. You did have the shards there. You wanna spend that into the, uh, the support system there to get you healed up. What's Ooh. that? Was that not purchased, DB? Am I? No, it's. Am I a derp? No, that was purchased. It's there. It's there. I want. I actually want to spend these future. Put that down real quick. Spend With these the shards on the turret right here. There you go. Because I'm really trying to hold down this left side. There's Scott once again, trying to keep me alive. 
Caldarius up there. Caldarius and Benedict. Gearbox decided to take flying characters this round, so I can't hit my hooks. But uh, let's see if I can oh. grab Benedict right here. There we go, down. right out of the air. The other ability for Helix 1 DB yeah. for this character actually uh, lets you grab people a little easier. The hook is much more effective. The big draw is called. It increases the effective hitbox of the hook, making yeah. it easier to land hits on targets. But you went with Stealth Scrap. I do you're, not going, take that. you're going with the damage dealer here right now. Let's see if we can get Oscar Mike over here. Successful pull. And I do have a trap right behind me that I can back up to if needed. I think Melka's a little bit preoccupied right here. Oh, unfortunately, Ombra's gonna come help her out. Let's see if I can put that down real quick. I do have an overshield, so I'll continue to be a little more aggressive. Oscar Mike gets pulled. Whew. Back up right here and hope that Scott's behind me. Scott, run! <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab this supply station real quick, get myself healed up, wait for the shields to recharge. And while we have a moment, the hook now does damage on impact. Go with hook shot here. here. So let's go ahead and put that down on the floor. And pull Benedict in. A little too high right there. These flying characters are not easy to hit. So as you can see, once the hook goes out, uh, there's no color to it. And that's lining up the shot. Once it pops, there, there, we there go. it goes. And it's going to do damage as well as he just paid into that. Melka very low. Traps are falling. Melka into a corner. Oh, nice and look at that. Right there. Nice move. Now let's back up real quick. Unfortunately, I don't have anything I can really chase with, except for this hook. Which isn't really chasing, it's more pulling enemies towards me. Scrap Oscar Mike. Oh, just backed up past it. Trying to continue holding down this side right here. My team does have a slight lead right now. This is not my turret anymore. Let's go ahead and take that out real quick. And there are shards on the map that I'm forgetting to farm. Maybe I should do that, DB. Yeah, this is a good character to do with it. You can get in there, do that damage very quickly, farm the shards, and then work it into not just the turrets, but the supply stations, and then also the logistics as well, which are going to help in the long game of Meltdown. This See, Meltdown is very aggressive. There we go. I'm pulling away from you, Scott. Scott, run! Let's see if we can... Finish off this Melka right here. Oh, I wanted that turret, but it was on cooldown when I was near it. So she got it. Let's back up here. There's far too many enemies right here, and Scott was a little injured, so... Let's dip out of the fight for just a moment. And let's actually check out what's going on here on the left side. I think I see Ombra by herself over here. There she is. Let's see if we can focus her down. Oh, predicted her movement right there, but she juked backwards. There's a solar wind trying to push me back. There's the sunspots and the sap away my health. I'm going to destroy that quickly. Let's see if we can get Ombra right here. I'm going to flank around. Ooh, let's get this turret. I did just enough to pick it up. Maybe that thing will save me. Well, that was a nice pickup. She is right there. Let's see if I can get a sneaky pull. Pull her away from my turret. Nope. Ombra is not the slowest character in the game, so... Missed a couple shots there, but we're gonna go ahead and put a mine down right there. Maybe Caldarius will step in it. Maybe I can punch him. Punch kill. There we go, with the back of the tactical revolver shotgun right here. Ombra is still being a pest. This hook does do damage now. There we go, finally connects one. And she does have her overshield. I'm gonna need to dip out. Oh, and yeah. she's my favorite character for a reason. I just got beat down right there by the minions and Ombra. Does look like she's. She out leveling me right now? She is out leveling me. That Ombra is the strongest on the other team at level six, I'm level four right now. First death of the game though, not bad. Yeah, let's see if we can take that back. This is the multiplayer mode meltdown. And we've shown off a couple multiplayer modes, but we also do have a single player campaign as well as cooperative campaign, up to five players in cooperative. So every couple minutes, DB, these big shards spawn on the map, and it's important to go pick them up so you can get items in your gearbox. In fact, let's pick up some stuff right now. One of my pieces of gearbox, that one on the right, allows me to uh, get healed a little more effectively, making Scott's job a little easier. Here is Caldarius getting the, heat, him in right the here. hook. Let's go ahead and just try to melee him out. Scott right there with the KO. <laughs> Supporting the team. And we do have our ultimate available. Now, 
One shotgun's pretty cool, DB, but what, yeah. what could possibly be cooler than one revolver shotgun? Definitely two of them. Let's see it on uh, old Benedict here. Let's see if I can pull him away from that sunspot, and I need two shotguns. Oh. With the assist right there. Enemy on Scott rough. coming in and stealing the kill. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Probably see if I can at least pick this one up well, right here. Kudai. All right, there's a shot on. Go ahead and put this down so she tries to retreat. She'll walk on top of it. armor has got the overshield, so I'm gonna wait for that to expire. That's her passive. Being a passive, you guys didn't know. The last four rounds of this shotgun do extra damage, so I'm always trying to expend the magazine if possible. But I'm gonna just take a reload right here. No one else can shoot. Here's Ombra again. Her overshield is gone. That's her passive. That's on cooldown, so I'm gonna focus on taking her out. Do have a sunspot down right there. Let's lay down another mine. I can put two of those down at a time. Ooh, grab a minion instead of our actual target. Let's back up for just a moment here and take boom. He's going boom stickier. This is going to increase the tactical shell's bonus damage. Yeah. You're going, you're going full damage with Galt here. Yeah, we're really going for a damage CQB build here. Oh. Get that turn up and online. You know what? I need two shotguns. That was a nice move to get that turret. It, a lot of times will come down to the sneaky turret pick up there with an enemy very close. Blinded for a second, but you might be able She's to steal in my health. Oh god! There we go. When I need it, give me the melee. There we go. Flailing around trying to get that melee. Let's dip out. Try to get some shields back, and I'm gonna put that trap right there to deter enemies from chasing me away. You got logistics up. So that's yep. gonna help. That's gonna heal me. Let me get my shields back. Let's go ahead and grab. Let's see, we are on six. So we're gonna take Drain Chain. This is finally gonna give me my sustainability in combat that I need. So when the enemy is hit with a hook, their shields and health are drained. So you're all you're doing damage from your other helix upgrade. And now you're draining health and shield as well. This is gonna be big with these hooks now. Let's go ahead and take this enemy logistics out. This thing slowed me down, I don't like it. Oh, we're taking a little bit of heat here. Explosions going on. Generally a bad thing, unless it's coming from your team. Here comes the rest of your team. You got a man in right there. there. I saw Scott lurking around as well. Yep, he Kill dropped him. me this mushroom right here. I'm going to chill in the mushroom for a little bit. Grab some heals, wait for my shields to quickly recharge. Oh, it looks like we have enemy Ombra on our flank here. Let's go ahead and... No, I don't have enough shards for that, actually. There are shards available in the middle of the map. Let's take out Ombra first. Ombra's going to try and take out... The turret, and she does that. that out. Yep, turret's down. Let's expend a whole shotgun tube right here. She's stealing my health right now. I don't like that very much. That ulti's up. Stunned right there inside of the mine, and there's her overshield. I'm actually gonna back off, wait for that to go away, because that expires. And then there we go. It did turn off. Let's get those two shotguns out and finish her off. Pop, pop. She's holding on, she's holding on. Nice kill. Trying to sap my health away, but I can sap hers away now too. Let's see if we can get away right here. I might actually burn to death here. Oh, no, the clutch. 15 health left, I just need to not get hit by anything. So you went both barrels blazing. Firing the revolver shotgun now just charges both barrels simultaneously. Yeah, so that actually, it seems like my rate of fire is a little slower. But my damage output is going to be greatly increased. Now. Let's see if I can find Scott here. It's a heals. First, we got to pull Caldarius off of Scott. Ooh, I'm blinded right here. We go ahead and get the pull. Caldarius is very disoriented right now. Oh, I'm sure. And the KO. Good swing there. Really good swing. It looked like you and Scott might have both went down there uh, as you were both low. But a good hook. Good swing. Scott's still alive, and he got you healed up. Yep. All right. Got a mine right there on the choke point. Ooh, that was Boom's Day right there, I think, from Enemy Benedict. What are you doing? No push-ups on the battlefield. There you go. Make him pay and for that. Let's go ahead and take both of these things out. It's a gunfight here. This is a very, very difficult fight, DB. You want to stay in it? A lot of enemies in this area. A lot of enemy minions. Those minions are no joke either. You got the kill after the taunt. That's more important than even winning the game, right? <laughs> style points, DB. Style yes. points. And speaking of winning the game, we're actually not winning right now. So let's go over here, pick up some shards, and get the last piece of my gearbox. That's going to increase my attack speed, which earlier, DB, we yeah. are... We got the helix that allowed us to fire both 
barrels of our double barrel revolver tactical shotgun here. All right. So now I'm going to increase my attack speed using the saber over here, that blue piece of gear on the left. Okay. And so that's going to increase my attack speed, and I have increased damage. It'll be all good. Going. Get him. Caldarius, nice. there's the hook. Led the shot perfectly right Great there. Great hook. He charged in to my shotgun right there as he was low. Oh, Melka. Why are you on the wrong side of the map? Must have been looking for their base, but... <laughs> got the lift right there. Unfortunately, I don't have my... There we go. Ooh. Didn't have my hook ready. Great. I lied. Just trying to give him a, you know, a little bit of confidence. Give him a little bit of hope that they can get away and then just oh, take yeah. him. Oh, yeah. mic. Right up here. Where I need to back up for just a second here. And you're going big trap. This is going to increase the radius of the scrap trap stun effects and the shrapnel charge blast radius. Big time damage coming from Gaul here in the end game. Let's go ahead. This might be a little bit of overkill, but I want to take this bird out of the fight. Ooh, Ombra coming to support. See if I can shoot past her, take him out, and then bail. No. Oh no. Let's get out of here, Scott. I'll put a mine. If I die, this mine will avenge me. Oh, hi. That's going to be it. And the shards. All right, let's get out of here. Looks like somehow Scott managed to deter them away from me. They decided not to chase. Actually, it looks like they dropped down back there. And let's see. No, could not get them on the, on the chain right there. No shield here for Malka. This could be a good take. Yeah, I'm going to wait for Scotch, making sure he's right behind me, healing me up as I try to go for the kill here. Uh-oh. See if we can get the melee finish and the kill. I was out of ammo right there, so let's back up. The enemy team really wants to punish me for being aggressive right now, DB. I like it. So hooked enemies right now, easy target, suffer amplified damage, which is great because I got a lot of damage. On my build right now. Yeah, especially you got that, like, almost three times added bonuses to the hook there. Adding yep. another one here. Got bonuses to the hook. Got both barrels firing at once. Got increased attack speed from my gear. Almost took out his shields in one hit right there. You know, reloading some chunks. Let's, let's go ahead and take out both shotguns. Double shoddy. And Oscar Mike needs to retreat. He's not going to get it, though. Assist. And Wrath. Family kill right there. Let's go ahead and make sure these minions don't push in. The score is pretty close, so let's take a moment and focus on the objective before... I do love the scrap trap, just locking down the hallway there. Letting your minions push through, stopping their minions. There's that enemy Ombra again. Get the chain in there, she's going to take increased damage for a moment. Oh. She's actually being juggled right now. And oh. the KO with the melee! Wow. The back of the shotgun is tasty as both barrels. Let's see if we can get Benedict right here. Trying to fly away? Trying to fly away? Come back! Oh, he dodged it! That was his third jump right that's, there. I didn't that's actually that. a really good point. That's a great way to keep Benedict down on the ground if you can. I'll get back here. The the enemy team Tough shot though. A lot of a lot of mobility. A lot of jumping around. We have Benedict. We have Melka who can use lift. It's a very tight game right now. 381 to 372. You can see the enemy minions here moving uh -oh. along. That turret is going to be deadly. We're going to need to flank and get rid of that. And the final upgrade. Let's go for incendiary shells, DB. Incendiary shells, revolver shotgun with incendiary shells during dual wield, dealing damage over time to struck enemies. So once you get that, as we see it right here, the ultimate going, the dual wield, and now you can see their incendiary burning. shells as well. How do, how do you like your eggs, DB? Oh. They're a little too well done now, though, unfortunately. Oh, Umbra might get me here. I just broke range from her beam right there. Let's see if I can get away. No, I am down, unfortunately. She was sapping my health from range right there. Quite the streak going there. Help. All right, we are going to wrap it up right here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching. I've been Nicky from Cell Shampoo. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like for Battleborn's leader. And you can find me on Twitch, YouTube, and Twitter, Cell Shampoo. And I'm DB. You can find me at Poontrankdome on Twitter. You can find the game Battleborn at Battleborn on Twitter. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more from us, please subscribe to the channel Battleborn Game on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See y'all some other time.